This is the story of Stefan Hadfield, an extreme sportsman who's always pushed beyond the limits. His latest achievements have astounded the world's medical profession. As he recovers from a brain injury, he should never have survived. A major skiing accident in Canada had left Stefan unable to walk or talk. I mean, if you can imagine somebody coming at you with a very large hammer and beating you on the head, it's something like that. I mean, they made it pretty clear that if he did survive, there was going to be every chance he was going to be pretty majorly impaired. When he was getting better, recovering, it was like watching a two-year-old grow up to a late teenager within a few months. The trauma to Stefan's brain means he'll never be quite the same again. Stefan's accident says much about the brain's ability to recover. It was just an unlucky thing. Maybe it's like I was meant to have this new life, meant to have this whole new extreme learning experience that I'm having now. At 24, Stefan Hadfield was a superman, admired by his mates. A university graduate, he had a mathematical mind and was a qualified geologist. He was sought out by a group of international extreme adventurers to take part in a challenge never attempted, to traverse pole to pole using only manpower. The trip had taken him to Canada for training. Even there, he instantly became leader of the pack. He stood out straight away. Capable physically, really warm and supportive of people someone that was a bit different to your everyday kind of bloke. And he had lots of integrity, or does have lots of integrity, so he was a great leader. On March the 1st, 2007, Stefan was skiing on these slopes at Whistler, Canada. With him, two of his friends, Dave Henley and Eric Hughes. The three daredevils had gone off-piste in search of the highest drop-offs. These boys thought nothing of plunging over a face 40 metres high. Yeah, it was, just, it was just a fun morning skiing, you know, out in beautiful terrain and having fun and laughing and just doing what you do when you're skiing, you know. Some, there was definitely some steep stuff and it was, I think we did a couple of double diamonds, but it wasn't, actually, well, I mean, there was some pretty big, big stuff we did. Stefan was like, come on, mate, let's go faster the whole time. So he was, uh, he was goading Eric on the whole day. It was quite funny. Stefan's life changed in a moment. 